Okay folks, it's Lich here. Welcome to my art channel. In today's video I'm wanting to do something a little bit different. I've been watching AB Creative and she inspires me a lot to do uh, 3D floral artwork. I love her floral artwork. So I thought I'd give it a try. Now one of her, um, oh, a few of her videos have shown where she's used the glue gun and then she's used paint, um, Dutch pour paint over the top of it and done the background and then gone back in and painted over the uh, raised bit. And that's basically what I want to do for this video. And I'm using a, a drawn, I drew some pansies on um, baker's paper and I'm going to transfer that to the canvas and the canvas I'll be using is a 20 centimeter 8 inch MDF round <clears throat> so I'm just going to tape that down and I've turned it backwards so that it um, will transfer onto the canvas and I'll stick that down so that it doesn't move <coughs> with some masking tape Uh, I think that's where I want it. Let's double check that. Yeah, I think that's basically where I want it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Another great artist who great artist that uses glue guns is uh, Tanya Munt. She doesn't have a video, unfortunately, but she does have a Facebook page check her out she's amazing she is an inspiration her work is absolutely beautiful and of course there's a few other artists that are doing glue gun stuff at the moment as well that you might want to check out there's Lima Maya Art um, pouring together with Lance uh, he's done a couple of great ones that I've liked recently uh, and there's a whole heap of others that I can't think of at this point in time. If I do recall any more names, I'll put them down in my description box for you to check out. So, meanwhile, back at the ranch. Uh, my pencils are absolutely atrocious. They keep breaking. I'm using three Bs at the moment because my 2D just, two B would not sharpen at all. And these are the only ones I've got at the moment and they're atrocious, they keep breaking the lens. So I will do my best. I'll go over this. Now, you might notice that one of them I've actually put the design on the inside, whereas the others I'm going to leave plain. I think I might do that with paint rather than with glue because I think it might get a little bit stringy and messy. So I'm just going to trace over these. <clears throat> and hopefully it'll leave a nice little imprint on the substrate. Love pansies. I think they're really pretty. Especially the purple and yellow ones. They're my favourite, I think. <laughs> I am um, partial to those ones. So I think they're the colours that I might use for this one, the purples and yellows. We'll see. And I change my mind. It's my prerogative. As an artist, you uh, do things that you like. So I strongly believe changing your mind midway is fine. Because <laughs> sometimes you think one thing and then you go to do it and you think, oh, no, I don't think I like that as much as I thought I would. drawn, transferred to the canvas. Oh yes it has, beautiful. Alright, so my next job <coughs> is to get the glue gun. I probably should have warmed it up while I was waiting, but you know, I don't think of these things do I? Just give that a moment to warm up. Like I said I should have done that beforehand. <laughs> Now the colours 
colours I'm thinking are purple and yellow for the flowers, green for the leaves obviously. In the background I loved the sky blue that I used um, in one of my earlier pieces, Australian sky blue from Matisse, I think it was. Not sure now, I'll have to have a look. But I really love that blue and I thought I might use that in the background. Now my flower isn't quite as in the middle as I was hoping, but then this isn't really a perfect circle either. So um, guys that cut it out for me did their best. <laughs> but it's not a perfect circle, which doesn't matter. Hopefully that'll... Um, I think that's warming up. Yes, it is. Not quite warm. I have touched that before with my hands when it's really hot and it's not a good thing to do. It's starting to warm up, yeah. All right, let's start drawing. Now, as you know, my, <laughs> my glue gun experience isn't the best, but I'm going to start with little, oops, little drops in the centers. Oh, I hate these threads. Now I believe that there's some guns that don't leave so much thread. up some colors so I'm going to shut off now and I'll be back once I mix my paints and I'm ready to do the next stage okay and we're back um, I have mixed the paints and I am now going to um, disperse the paint on the little canvas and see how I want it dispersed and then I will use the hairdryer to blow it out or even a mini blower, we'll see. Now, the colours I'm using are uh, Eraldo Di Polo um, Metallic Palm Green. Love this colour. It is one of my favourite colours and so much so that I've practically used that all up. Uh, another of my favourite colours is Matisse's Southern Ocean Blue which you'll see in the little container there. It's a beautiful deep bluey green colour. Um, Eraldo Di Paolo Tranquility and it's Holcroft, not uh, Matisse. I thought it was Matisse, but it's actually Holcroft Sky Blue. I really, really love this beautiful blue, uh, which I'll show you. I'm not sure if you can see that very well on the camera. Now, the other thing I really love is these little containers that I've got. You know, the uh, urine sample cups that you get from the uh, doctors. <laughs> I love using those. They've got a great little uh, lid on them that keeps the paint from going off. Uh, they're really good. And rest assured, these are not used. These are brand new spanking cups that have never been used. Uh, my years of working with doctors and um, being a carer for my mum, I collected quite a few of these little cups, empty ones, um, never used. <laughs> 
and uh, they come in handy for my paint they're really really good so I'll just move these out of the way and we'll get started all right I haven't done it uh, touch pour for a little while and I've never done it on top of a glue gun thing so I'm going to start with probably start with this one because this is darker and I'll go around and just splotch it here and there actually around the leaf bit there probably should have put a, some purple in there as well seeing the flowers are going to be purple and I may still do that just go over the edge oops that's a little too much. I just poured that one, didn't I? Oops. Okay, that's the uh, palm green. Now the tranquility. We'll put that more in the center. It's probably way too much paint because I always use too much. Yeah. And a little bit more of this. I love this one. This is the sky blue. It's really, really beautiful. All right. I think that's way too much paint. I'm just going to check if I've got a purple one I could throw in the mix. This is uh, Eraldo de Paolo Metallic Lavender. I'll show you that one. Um, I'll just, just a little bit here, just where the flowers are. This is a little bit thicker, so I don't want to um, put too much of that one on. All right, I might use the um, the little blower instead of the hairdryer, and we'll see what happens, hey? that's dry it might be dry in a day or two depending on uh, it's hot so it might dry even quicker but uh, I'll be back and we can start the next part of it hopefully I haven't melted the glue while I've done that because if it's too hot it will melt the glue which is not a good thing Anyway, that looks pretty cool. Purple, there's not enough purple on that, but that doesn't matter because I can paint it white first and then put the purple over it if once um, I need to do that. But I love that background, it's gorgeous. Okay, I'll put that on some risers, homemade risers. And I will leave it there to dry. There's a little bit of purple there. It's grey from mixing the colours together. But it's really pretty. <clears throat> All right, we'll leave it there. Then we're back. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way this dried, actually. Looks quite good. I don't know whether you can see that. Um, it only took overnight and it was dry the next day so it's pretty cool now what I'm thinking of doing is in order to I mean you can see the the, the 3d part of it but because some of the colors might that I'm going to use might be um, transparent I will have to go over those bits with white so I thought what I might do two things twofold <laughs> is use my uh, Posca white pen to do the outlines and then I'll uh, colour the inside with the Liquitex white, titanium white. 
So um, that's what I'm going to do first. And then once I've done that, then I'm going to start applying the color. the texture in that. I'll show you a close-up if I can. Yeah, so it looks a bit like impasto because I've really thickened the uh, the paint on it. Obviously it'll sink down but um, unlike impasto. But um, yeah that's okay. And then my goal is to maybe do a black, I can do it with the Fosca pen actually, let's get the black paint out, is start with the black centre, start with the dark, then yellow, then the lighter one, and that on the ends. So we'll see what that looks like. So we'll have to wait till that dries. So that's the next step. So I'll just give that a half an hour, an hour to, for it to dry and then I'll come back again and we'll do the next part with the colours. Now the colours I'll be using are Joe Sonia Purple Matter, Atelier Quinacridone Red Violet, Pebio light azo yellow and just a little bit because it's got a bit of shine just on the edges um, the Montmartre pearl purple and we'll see how we go and the Posca pin black to do the little center bits oh and the green I forgot the leaves <laughs> I didn't grab the paint for the leaves I'll have to do that just bear with me a sec and I'll grab some greens Okay, and for the leaves, I'm going to use 
Liquitex Thalocyan Green and Pibio Iridescent Green Yellow. Okay. So yeah, we'll wait till it dries and then we'll come back and start adding colour to the flowers and the leaves. Okay, we're back. That took about an hour to dry. And it's really, really rough, which is what I wanted in the texture. I didn't want it to be too smooth. Now I'm going to start. Now I might have some better brushes than this one. Let me see what I've got here. No, I don't want the spoon. Oh. Now I'm going to start with the darker colour. Purple matter. This brush might be the way to go. And I will have a little black centre, but just for now, I'm just going to go like so.
All right, I think that's it. It's different. <laughs> I'll bring you down and you can have a quick squeeze what looks like close up. Okay, folks, here it is. This is a close up of the piece. It's a little bit different. I love the rough texture, that's why I've made it really, really rough inside. Um, I didn't want it to be um, smooth, I wanted it to be rough. I like the texture bit. So, what do you think for my first try at Blue Gun? Dutch pour paint <laughs> in that order. My little pansies. Love those colours. Um, yeah, I think it looks okay. I love the blues in the background. I'm thinking that maybe the colours in the background are a little too strong for this piece. They could have been a little bit lighter. But, yeah, I don't mind it. What do you think, guys? I'd love to hear your opinion. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload the next video. Until next Saturday, take care. Have a good night or day, depending on where you are in the world. And we'll see you then. Bye.